Hey up everybody, I'm just moving on to the next part of my water tender that I'm uh, making for my loco. I think in previous part I left you where I grew it all bolted together like on a dry run and I think I just said I was going to do a bit of detail work on corners to make it a nice fit for soldering. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm also going to get the base plate marked out and drilled so that can be attached and then once all that's done I think it's ready for soldering right I'm just working up front at tender now I've just got to I've had to take these angle brackets off and I'm just going to take a few thousandths off one of the legs just to bring the brass so it's a nice neat fit on the corner so uh, there's a couple of methods you could do with this really you, you could open the holes up I suppose and, uh, and have a a loose fit so you can adjust everything but I'm just going to keep keep ferreting away at it and uh, taking a few thou off here and there until I get it a nice fit Right, that's got the front bit uh, all flushed up so I'm happy with that that side this side yeah I'm happy with that side that's flush so I've just got to do the same now with the back just to get this get this a nice tight fit same with that one. Right, I've got the corners probably as flush as I'm going to get them. So I'm going to put, um, get the base now and uh, mark the base holes out, ready for drilling. Uh, make sure it's all square and everything. Now I've got the tank sides squared up and, and flushed up everything ready for soldering I'm going to mark it, mark the positions onto the sole plate to attach it to the bottom plate and something I forgot, I've got to make two brass or bronze bushes for the outlet points with the filters fit to allow the water to 
to exit. how you fasten the old tank to the chassis but in the actual photograph I think you can see there's four brackets one in each corner that must be to hold the old the whole tank on now because I've done my chassis slightly different I've, I've already got an angle facing outwards instead of facing inwards so I'll be drilling in each corner through the angle and I'll probably put a M5 stainless steel bolt, one in each corner. Right, I'm just going to drill these freehand. Just going to run the 4BA tap through these holes now. I've just transferred the holes, the holes into the chassis, and I'll be drilling them and tapping them M5. So I've now got to put clearance drill in these four in these four fixing points. The position for the bush, for the outlet, is seven inch from the, from the end and four and seven eighths from the centre line across. And I'm putting two in mine.
Thanks for watching then, uh, if you found that useful and informative, uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch up next part to this. Bye for now then.